Denis et Morozov, merci beaucoup d'être avec nous ce matin dans l'atelier Canopé. Aujourd'hui, vous êtes amené à intervenir dans un colloque international autour de l'éducation et du numérique. Est-ce qu'on a raté le train On va dire. Est-ce qu'on a, on est, on est déjà pas trop en retard par rapport à la question de l'éducation au numérique et par le numérique Est-ce qu'il ne faut pas aujourd'hui passer rapidement à l'éducation de la data par la data Wow. There is clearly uh, a lot of possibilities that the proliferation of electronic devices, which are capable of tracking what users and teachers do, offers to the education system. Which that data can be used. It can be used to deeply personalize learning, so that you only learn about things that you're already interested in, because your profile now can be better understood uh, by tracing everything you do. Or it can also be used for a very different kind of model, where instead of pushing you towards what you already know, you'll be pushed towards a more serendipitous, if you will, path that will be open to serendipity, it will be open to new ideas that you have never seen before, which again is also possible since the system knows something about you that it didn't know before. For me, education in one sense or another has always been about data. I mean, learning has always been about data because the new education by the data and of the data because data has always been there. Now, it just has become much more explicit. You know that it's a question of data. You know that that data is produced and generated by certain platforms. And then, you know, since you already know it, then you open up new spaces for thinking who should govern that data, how we should devise new laws and regulations to store it, uh, how much of it should be used for personalization, how much of it should be used for this other serendipity-like mode of learning. All of those questions can suddenly be asked because the questions that were previously implicit got formalized through these devices, gadgets that leave those traces. Est-ce que ça veut dire qu'on utilise la data que localement, mm -hmm. c'est-à-dire qu'au sein de la classe, mm -hmm. ou est-ce qu'on utilise la data massivement um, In an anonymized manner, because there is a way to get it wrong. It's very easy to get it wrong where you would make the assumption that the reason why a specific classroom did not finish a specific book is because the teacher is at fault and not the textbook. <laughs> so the way in which you can anonymize it, and uh, so you want to use the data for insights without necessarily punishing all the actors involved, right? So yes, you can use it globally, but you have to use it globally with a lot of very highly specific provisions that will protect the autonomy of the local. The learning, as I've said, has always required some kind of evaluation by the teacher, the students, the students of the teacher, and there have always been some kind of metrics. I mean, the system we had before, analysts and observers like me, when we are looking at such trends, is to distinguish the modernizing effects of digitization from its more political and economic effects. And it's not always easy because, of course, they go hand in hand. Uh, Est-ce que vous pensez aujourd'hui que l'éducation du partage uh, est une nécessité ou est-ce que c'est une réalité ou est-ce que si ce n'est pas une réalité, quel type de modèle on est amené à pouvoir permettre de mettre en place pour favoriser les échanges, pour pouvoir mm -hmm. permettre l'échange des bonnes pratiques uh, dans nos modèles actuels To communicate horizontally among citizens, learners, students, teachers and so forth into some kind of a structure where You know, it's not just about learning the marketable skills and learning how to code and then just going away and joining the workforce, but how you can still preserve some of the spirit of education of instilling communal values and solidarity and whatnot that we try to foster in the, under the old model. Right? And, and I think that's a big question. What I fear might happen is that... Je vous remercie beaucoup d'avoir assisté, en tout cas d'être venu chez nous, au sein de l'atelier Canopé pour... Ben, voilà, échanger ensemble sur, sur ces enjeux autour de la data, autour des questions liées euh, aux nouveaux modèles éducatifs tels qu'on pourrait les, les imaginer dans le futur. Et encore merci euh, d'avoir été présent ici avec nous. Ma pleasure.